The Suicide Squad just released their new trailer, and the excitement is being stifled by confusion. And it's not just the name that's causing it. After watching the trailer, the biggest question everyone has, does adding the name THE to the title make this movie better than the 2016 Suicide Squad disaster that we were all forced to endure? I still have a bad taste in my mouth from that one. Well, considering that THE Suicide Squad is going to be a complete reboot and not a sequel, and it's going to be directed by THE guy that bought us Guardians of the Galaxy, James Gunn, I am hopeful, not excited. Just hopeful. If you watch a trailer for The Suicide Squad and you're confused by the cast of who the hell is that, don't worry, you're not alone. Here's a quick run through of the Task Force X rehash that we're gonna get this time around. Some retreads from a movie not good enough to bear the name The include Viola Davis as Amanda Waller, Joel Kinnaman's playing the leader Rick Flagg again, Jai Courtney's Captain Boomerang, and of course Margot Robbie returns as Harley Quinn. Even though others may have turned a blind eye to the shit show that it was a Suicide Squad unworthy of the name V, Margot Robbie also had to suffer through Birds of Prey. Perhaps if they put a V in the front of that, it would have been a better movie. Fortunately, she's willing to look past those hiccups and return as the dysfunctional doc that we all love. And I'm glad she is. Some big name newcomers are gonna be in this version of the Idris Elba is playing Bloodsport. Think Deadshot, but not Deadshot, just in case Will Smith wants to come back. Actually, Idris Elba was cast to replace Will Smith as Deadshot, but I guess someone DC Films still has their fingers crossed in case the Fresh Prince wants to make a return. John Cena is playing Peacemaker. Think of him as like a douchey Captain America with a much shinier helmet. And my second favorite Doctor Who, Peter Capaldi, is playing the Thinker. That one's pretty self-explanatory. He's SMRT. Some lesser known villains slash heroes we're gonna see include the Polka Dot Man. He's a Batman villain who hides gadgets in his polka dots. Like Inspector Gadget, just with less fashion sense. Mongal is strong, Ratcatcher controls rats, and Savant's a computer hacker. Or Yandu 2.0. Weasel's an overgrown weasel, Solsarai has a rifle, and Javelin throws javelins. And Blackgar is a bumbling mercenary who in this movie is gonna have butthole eyes. Some interesting additions to the this time around include TDK, or arm fall off boy. He's been played by Nathan Fillion. TDK can detach his arms and use them as weapons, but instead of putting them back on like your old G.I. Joe action figures, he grows new ones in minutes. And Sylvester Stallone be voicing the super deadly and bloodthirsty fish out of water King Shark, who coincidentally looks like the animated King Shark from the Harley Quinn cartoon. Gunn said he gave a dad bod so he looked less mammally, and a small head with a big mouth to avoid the cute beast look that we got from Gunn's Guardians of the Galaxy tree Groot. Sly might not be the best in enunciation, but he's far more articulate than Vin Diesel ever was. So with any luck, we can look forward to more phrases than just, I am King Shark. And in case you're wondering, yes, that big ass starfish in the trailer is in fact a recurring villain in the DCU. So it actually has a place in this part of the multiverse. Weird, right? So there you have it, a quick look at the Suicide Squad. Are you still gonna be confused when you watch this movie? Probably. I'm Scott, this is Our Reviews Will Kill You. You know what to do before you go watch the rest of our videos, and we'll see you next time.